Today, we're going to be trying out one of the top rated ramen joints here in Tokyo. This place is run by the same people at Ramen Tomo, one of our favorite ramen in the entire city. We filmed at the Tomo Ramen Shop. It was so good. Very umami filled ramen. Yes, it's our favorite in the city. And if you want to watch that video, we left a link in the description below this one. Today's shop is a sister shop named Tomo Premium. They have similar ramen, but not only that, they have very unique ramen. Yes, really, really looking forward to it. And it's located pretty near the original Tomo restaurant. Uh, we are here at Akasaka Mitsuke Station on the metro and it's only about a five minute walk from here. Kasaka is one of those places that we don't come off and we basically come here just to eat the ramen at Tomo. <laughs> uh, this is, you know, a business area, uh, lots of eateries and restaurants. One day we really, really should explore this area more. That's true, that's true. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of places to eat. We have been walking about five minutes and we found Tomo Premium. This really is near like, the other shop, Tomo. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think maybe it's about three to five minutes away on mm -hmm, foot, mm -hmm, something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, really excited to try out Tomo's premium offerings. So we came to Mendokoro Tomo Premium and you can buy the ticket here at the vending machine and also, you can order at a table or counter. There is a QR code. Here is an English menu for soy sauce ramen. So we order three. So I choose small size this time. And chicken soup ramen, this one. It's a very special. It's a truffle aroma. One more thing, mixed ramen. This one, medium size. Would you like to have? So we got ticket. Let's eat. So, this is a ramen named Chukasoba, Hojun Yakiago Dashi Chukasoba. Soy sauce ramen in rich flying fish soup stock. This is egg color as it is. It's called Akai Tamago, red egg from Aomori Prefecture. Umai! This dashi, I love flying fish dashi. Very good, very good. Arigato. This is a noodles, it's a straight noodles. Mmm, this soup is rich and thicker, so it comes with this thin noodles very nicely. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I've never seen this color of egg. It's really orange. Oh my, what a creamy egg yolk. Oh, wow, I want to eat this egg as raw chashu meat. What I am is this chashimi. Very good porky taste. Obviously, we're going to be sharing everything today, so I'm going to try the soup as well. Whoa, it has reminders of the original Tomo ramen. The soup, like Satoshi said, is much more intense and concentrated, which is actually a good thing. Much thinner than the original Tomo ramen. This really absorbed the soup. Oh, so flavorful. And of course, I gotta try the egg. Look at that egg, it's incredible. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm, sorry, I just had to put that whole thing in my mouth. Mm, I want some rice with that egg. It is so good. And, and this is the normal basic uh, ramen, but you can also get the deluxe version, which comes with a whole bunch of toppings. Okay, this is their other specialty, and this is the one I was most looking forward to. This is the chicken ramen with truffle. I see some uh, green onions, maybe mushrooms, and there's also butter with lemon. I believe this is a lemon butter. And you see some uh, pieces of char siu meat here. Let's give this soup a try. Once again, this is the small size, so you can get the full size if you want, but 
Like I said, today we want to try three Takimasu. Satoshi, you're gonna be so surprised because it's nothing what I expected. It's so light yet flavorful. I think the star of the show is the special salt that they use. This soup is incredible. I'm gonna finish the whole bowl. I'm sorry. Seriously, this is like incredible. Oh here, look, look at that. There's a piece of truffle here. I'm just gonna eat half of that. I'll save half for you. Mmm. Mmm. It's not often one gets to eat truffle at a ramen restaurant. I'm gonna try the piece of char shoe, the roast pork. Mmm. Oh, that lemon acts as an accent as well. Oh my goodness, this is so good. It's so different from anything I've ever had in my life. Soup plus the, the color is totally different from other ramen. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna be blown away. I mean, chicken ramen is usually thick, right? This one is like really light. <laughs> it's like the most delicious <laughs> chicken consomme wow. with truffles, like the aroma mm. of truffles. It's like, mm. I don't know, it reminds me of like springtime. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It uh, looks oily with using butter, but it's not oily, it's not heavy. It's very light. And I already know, when we eat ramen, sometimes we feel really heavy, but this one, it's light. Mmm. 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 The ramen chef is a genius. Like seriously, I was talking to her in the kitchen and she was telling me about how she creates the ramen and she had a lot of time making the ramen at Tomo. But she wanted to go even further than that. She wanted to kind of push the boundaries, how she could level things up. And I think she finally did it. guys and this is the last thing we got this is the mixed ramen or mase soba with pecorino romano cheese first thing you notice is the, the egg yolk that orange super red orange egg yolk that's a pecorino romano cheese black pepper sakura ebi shrimp you got green onions i think that's uh, maybe fried onions you got the char siu pork and you have some sauteed mushrooms and red onions there's something here too i'm not sure what that is and you're supposed to mix everything up, so that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. I'll break the egg. Look at the egg yolk. That's crazy. Look up. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that color. <laughs> if you don't like cheese, definitely don't get this because this is like, I mean, you can smell the cheese right away. Like, that's the strongest thing you can smell at the moment. Oh my god. Mind blown. Where do I even begin? First of all, the noodles are thicker and chewier, al dente. So uh, it's very, very satisfying, satisfying to be chewing into the noodles. The egg yolk is so rich. It tastes richer in this form because it's raw. It's just so rich with such good egg flavor. And then combined with the pecorino romano cheese, it's like eating carbonara, like really good carbonara in Italy. But this is ramen, and then you have like all these other ingredients, like the, like the fried onions, which which gives it a nice flavor as well as some crunch. Actually, everything we tried today was kind of amazing. I'm glad that we started off with the first one because that one is your signature, but kind of leveled up, and that's absolutely true. But the second one with the truffles, that one's amazing too. And then this one, on the other hand, is completely different because this is a soupless type of noodle. So there's no soup. All the flavor is concentrated into the dish, not the soup. That's what makes the biggest difference between this and the truffle one. So I really don't know which one I like better. I like both. I'm not choosing. Mm. I like both. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it's pretty mm -mm. incredible, isn't it? <laughs> All the flavor mixed into one, not only cheese, all the flavors comes into one, the layer of umami, umami, umami. I think 
It's worth to come to Tokyo to eat these ramen bowls. <laughs> By the way, this ramen shop is like a cafe. Look at this interior. Not only counter seat, there are a table seat, and also there's a terrace seat. Not only eat ramen, you can come here to drink alcohol. They have beer, highball, and wine. Next time, I want to come at dinner time to enjoy alcohol and ramen. By the way, guys, this is not a sponsored video. I just want to put that out. Even though we were allowed to film in the kitchen and stuff, we know the chef because uh, we've met her, uh, you know, more than a few times at her original Tomo ramen restaurant. We pay for our own meals that way we can be truthful and honest with our opinions. So when I said, you know, my mind was being blown, I really, really meant it. It's my truthful opinion. Both of us, we don't lie, we, we never lie. I just want to put that out because some of you guys think that we're paid to say this. We're not. This is our audience opinion. The ramen here is amazing. <sighs> Look at that, I finished all my soup. That's a rare thing for me. All done, clean. I ate it all. See you next time. Arigato. We had a fantastic time. That was so good. That was like, you know what? I, you know what I wanted to say. You know, while I was eating it, right? I was thinking, why am I so, like, mind blown? It's because last year, throughout the entire year, I mean, we had lots of good food. Mm -hmm. But I've I've never been like blown away by ramen. You no, know, we eat so much food. You know, all the time. But this is the first, I think this is the first time in my entire life that I was blown away by ramen. <laughs> it's so good. I, I mean, I'm not hungry anymore because we ate three bowls of ramen, but I'm still thinking about it. That true, it was that true. good. Mm, true. <laughs> yeah, anyway, guys, um, please, if you come to Tokyo, visit this place, uh, Tomo Ramen Premium. Ramen Tomo Premium. Anyway, information with the Google Map listed right below this video. Please do yourself a favor. If you are a ramen lover or a noodle lover, this, I can guarantee, is one of the best things you'll eat yes. in get Tokyo. Out. We get out. Oh my God, I'm so happy today. I'm so happy. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you thought in the comment below. Thank you for watching. See you next delicious, delicious video. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.